Aries, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 13th to the 14th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aries. What's going on with Aries in the next 48 hours? What does Aries need to know for April 13th to the 14th of 2023? Okay, let's see. I don't know why I got applesauce. We have hair transformation. Dwarf resourceful. I feel like the water bottle is like really in the way. So let me move it out of the way. <laughs> Elf mischief. Overall energy is moth caution. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> All right, so somebody's playing games in the next 48 hours or they're trying to. They're telling you to be cautious because I feel like, okay, Someone could be trying to change their look here. I feel like you're changing up your look. Maybe you're working out more. I feel like you're getting more tone, more muscular. I see you hiking more or lifting more or doing something more. Or you're just changing up your hair, your clothes, your style. You're changing up something, right? You're going through a deep transformation. Not just your appearance, but your inner workings as well. And I feel like someone's trying to tamper with your resources. I feel like you have a schedule. You go to the gym at a certain time. You go to the salon at a certain time. You go, you have everything set out for you pretty much. There's someone trying to mess with that. And they're telling you to be cautious. Don't answer the phone. Of course, unless it's your child, of course. But like, I feel like someone's calling you knowing that you have to be a certain place at a certain time, asking you to do something to throw you off schedule. Someone's trying to throw you off schedule on purpose. So let me write that down so I can get to the tarot. This is someone you've told your schedule to or by talking to you on a regular basis, they know your schedule and they call you exactly when you're about to go into some place or go somewhere, you're headed somewhere. Or they call you at the same time every day knowing you have to be somewhere. April 13th to the 14th of 2020. I feel like someone could be trying to take your... um. Like, say, for instance, you have an appointment at the hair salon at 3 p.m. Someone, a friend, someone close to you is asking if they can have your appointment. So someone's trying to take your appointment or trying to, like, make it so that you miss it so that they can go. Four pentacles. I also feel like someone does not want you to change. Someone's holding on to you. They don't want you to change. Or they don't want you to go through this transformation without them. Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone's holding on to you. They don't want you to change. Now, I hope you're not like self-sabotaging. Maybe you're afraid to change. So you could be self-sabotaging. But I feel like it's more so someone else. That's why I was telling you Moth Caution. Someone's like, I don't want you to change. Could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. We have the Nine of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Super Gemini. Strength card, Leo. So it could be a Virgo or a Leo. Again, it could be any sign, doesn't matter. But I feel like um, over on G Temperance Sagittarius. I definitely feel like it's someone who has a significant Virgo, Leo, or Sagittarius placement. But it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Either way, I feel like this person is purposefully messing with you. Asking you to hang out with them, knowing you have things to do. Maybe you have a paper to a paper to do or paperwork to do or just work in general. And they're asking you to hang out. Or maybe you just want to be at home chilling. They they're bothering you. Cause I see you have you have strength when it comes to your intuition, your instincts. Um, what is it? I how did I lose the word? Not psychic abilities, intuition. Intuition, that's the word. You have strength in your intuition and trusting yourself. Spirit is basically telling you with the hermit energy to trust yourself, trust your own opinion. Also, don't allow someone into that because with that hermit energy, that's like, again, trusting your instincts, inner wisdom, and inner guidance. Don't let this person know about your inner world. Don't tell them anything like personal about what's going on with your transformation because I feel like you've strengthened like relying on yourself. You have strengthened that or you've strengthened that. 
so you trust yourself at this time and it's like this person wants to know more about this so that they can corrupt it get you to trust them or to cling to them this person does not want you to transform into trusting yourself or having strength within your own opinion this person wants you to stay like clung or clinging to them or relying on them or something like that let's clarify it's like yeah this person wants you to be the nine of swords anxiety worry depression sleepless nights holding on to the past holding on to them someone just does not want you to transform into this like strong person that trusts themselves page of wands yeah you have this new idea tower there you are you have this new idea a new zest for life or something that you're keeping to yourself as you should Excuse me. I feel like even if you were solely clinging to something, you're transforming anyway. So say, for instance, you were trying to cling to the past or cling to this person. Even if you were, you're changing anyway. You have the tower here clarifying the four pinnacles. So if somebody was holding on to something, they're not anymore. With transformation, the universe came in or whoever you believe in just tore all that up. That's gone. <laughs> but that's it's good, though. You have the six of wands clarifying the nine of swords. Knight of Wands. So you freed yourself. You freed yourself from something. Or you've been freed from this. Because I feel like someone was trying to keep you there. Maybe you went through something or you had something you were concerned or worried about. And you were afraid to change or you were afraid to let it go. Or you were afraid to go in this new direction. You were afraid of something. You were afraid of some type of change. Or maybe this person was afraid of you changing. But it, it happened anyway. Either you were going to do it willingly or the universe was going to do it for you with the Knight of Wands. I see you freed yourself from the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. Or it doesn't have to be all those things. One of those things. You freed yourself from the Nine of Swords. And with the Six of Wands, um, that's success. That's also public acknowledgement and praise for freeing yourself from a situation. Maybe you were stuck in it for a while, Seven of Pentacles. It could have been a job you were stuck in for a while. So you're going towards a new field. A new relationship you freed yourself from whatever this is i feel like it's more so a mindset but when you change your mindset it manifests physically so this could um manifest in a change of home job career you know i feel like it's definitely appearance wise clarifying the hermit is the king of pentacles in the nine of wands so you could be guarded against this person at this time an earth sign i keep getting like yeah there's a strong virgo placement here Clarifying the strength card is the King of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Five of Pentacles. This is a water sign or a Leo that feels left out in the cold by you. Over Orange is the King of Swords and there's that air energy. So we have the King of um, Swords, King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So like I said, it could be any sign. But there's someone here could be multiple people for some of you multiple people feel left out in the cold exes new lovers friends family put it where it goes you're guarded against a virgo a water sign or a leo feels left out and then there's this king of swords who wants control of the situation and they're just not getting it no one has control over this situation but you a lot of people around you are trying to have control of the situation. They realize they have, you don't even have control of this transformation, honestly. It's just happening. Let me get you your final message. Like no one can stop this. Not even you. Yeah, wolf, the self without others are calling the great expansion. And I feel like that's what that page of wands is, knight, knight of wands in the tower. You just, you hear this call, you've been hearing it for a, a little while now. And I feel like whether you heed this call or go after it or not, it's going to happen. You're going to be forced to move. But I see you going after it anyway. Moon, <laughs> mystery, surrender, looming change. Exactly. B, togetherness, work, treasures. So I'm getting there either with you or against you. Like, they're either going with you or they're getting left behind. I feel like um, if anyone tries to hinder you, 
in any way, you're going to leave them behind. But those who are working with you will go with you. Overall energy is praying mantis, wit, manipulation, fun. Yeah, someone's going to try to cause mischief because they feel like they're being abandoned. Or maybe someone can see this change and they're going to try to leave before you leave them. And thinking that you're going to chase them or whatever. I don't know. But, I mean, you're changing regardless. They're just going to get left behind. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I see you. Peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.